everyone, it's Alice and I'm here to share a list of 10 fantasy authors who I haven't read anything from yet. So on Christmas Eve I shared a list of classic authors that I haven't read anything from yet so I thought today with being Boxing Day I might as well do another list and share 10 fantasy authors that I haven't read anything from yet. Some of these are going to be controversial, some of these are going to be unsurprising so buckle up and come on a journey with me into the embarrassing land of I pretend I'm a bookworm but I've never actually read anything. <laughs> So the first author on this list is N.K. Jemisin. I feel like everybody should read N.K. Jemisin if they like fantasy because she's the only author who's ever won the Hugo Award for all three books in a series, which is a crazily impressive achievement. And I'm definitely interested in the fifth season series. I mean, I've got The City We Became on my Kindle. I feel like I've got the first book in one of her other series on my Kindle as well. Something about kingdoms is popping up in my head I just can't think exactly what it is um but I haven't had a chance to read either of them yet and I haven't started the fifth season series either and I definitely need to fix that another author I feel like everybody should try and read is R.F. Kuang who wrote The Poppy War it's one of the most hyped fantasy series that has come out recently like for modern fantasy it is hugely hugely hyped and so many people say that it absolutely destroys you, it just tears you apart and it's really difficult to read. Um, it covers a lot of difficult topics as well as having those fantasy elements, so it's a lot on the darker side. Um, and darker fiction does interest me, but I do think that might be what's putting me off of reading this one because I know it's going to put me through the emotional ringer and I haven't been in a good place to do that. But if I can get my mental health into a bit of a comfier place, this will be one of the first books that I pick up. Another author I haven't tried yet, who I really should have tried, is George R. R. Martin. Quite clearly, the author of A Game of Thrones. I've watched A Game of Thrones, I've watched every single episode, and I loved most of it, and I hated some of it, and I'm sure you can imagine which series I hated, because everybody hated exactly the same ones. But I haven't read the source material, I don't know the characters as well as people who have read the source material, so I might feel differently about the show once I've read the books. I don't know why I haven't read these yet. My mum got me this set, this gorgeous set with these like scenes on the spines for either my 17th or 18th birthday and I just still haven't picked them up and I really want to but something about it is just blocking my brain. Maybe it's the fact that it's not a finished series, maybe it's the fact that they're quite chunky compared to the books I normally read but I definitely want to try to start this series in 2022 which is big talk and it's not gonna happen. Another series I'd really like to start in 2022 is the Rivers of London series by Ben Aronovich. As you can see this is The Hanging Tree which is very late in the series. It's actually book six. I own loads of these. I think I've got eight of them, maybe nine. And I haven't even started the first one. I just keep spotting them in charity shops, grabbing them because the covers are gorgeous. And I, because the covers are so gorgeous, they're very memorable. So I know which ones I have and which ones I don't. So I grab them once I see them and then I never read them. But the Peter Grant series is one of those ones that it's less hyped than I think it probably should be. Because the fact that it's been running for as long as it has and the fact that it has got some very, very hardcore fans, I think possibly if this was a US author, it would be more hyped but because it's a UK author and it's set in London I think that might be why it's not like a worldwide very very intensely hyped series um, but I will have to see when I start them. Another series I can't wait to start is the Jade City series by Fonda Lee um, because I've never read a Fonda Lee book and that might not seem too bad considering I've only just hauled this Illumicrate special edition set so I haven't owned them for very long but it doesn't excuse the fact that I've had Jade City on my Kindle for at least a year and I should have probably read it before I bought the special set. I was like eh, I'm sure I'll love it I'll just buy the special set and then probably never read them because that's who I am as a person. Another author I keep buying and haven't picked up any books by yet is Robin Hobb. Um, so there's a lot of booktubers doing the Elderling along um, where they're reading the Realm of the Elderling and discussing a different book each month. So I've heard a lot about Robin Hobb's books from Becca and the Books and J.D. Ray Reads. So I think they're the kind of books that I will enjoy. I just haven't started them yet. 
it doesn't help but because I'm grabbing them as I see them in charity shops I've currently got the first book in the first series the first book in the second series the first second and third book in the fifth series <laughs> so my Robin Hobb collection is very mismatched and there are lots of gaps there's not a lot of chronology going on there so I'm gonna need to actually knuckle down read Assassin's Apprentice and then just purchase the second and third book in that series see if I like the first trilogy and then possibly carry on with the rest of the elderling but not starting it at all and just continuing to haul books is a stupid idea <laughs> Another author that I heard a lot about on booktube is Ursula K. Le Guin as there was something called the Le Guin Along that was happening to read the Wizard of Earthsea series um, but that failed dramatically because everybody got halfway through and realised it was boring as heck which has made me nervous to try Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, I'm pretty sure Connor Stampanato, it must be Connor, I can't think of anybody else who would have hauled Ursula K. Le Guin recently. Um, but I'm pretty sure that he was reading them and he was enjoying them more than he thought he would. Um, and so that made me more interested again. Um, but this is an Ursula K. Le Guin book that isn't in the Elderling series. This is The Lathe of Heaven. So if I start off with this one, work out whether I like her writing and then possibly try the other ones, um, it might end up being that I enjoy them where other people didn't. And that sounds like a good time for me. The only author on this list that I haven't read anything by that I'm not tempted by at the moment is Mark Lawrence um, and Mark Lawrence is the author of the Red Sister series uh, it's got another name is it Blood of the Ancestor? I'm probably wrong about that um, but he also wrote a book that I've just realised I've got on the stairs so I could have brought it over for this video but I'm too lazy to go and get that The Girl in the Stars? I only unhauled it I, I've unhauled it but I haven't actually gotten rid of it yet which is why it's sat on my stairs um, but I'm not a huge fan of Mark Lawrence's behaviour as an author. I just think that he isn't the most professional person. Um, and there are receipts to prove that. And so it just puts me off a little bit. Yeah. I'd rather support authors that I think are worthy of support personally and professionally. Rather than people who don't have that kind of professional persona and yeah that's another video that's another video but I haven't read a single book by Mark Lawrence and I feel like he's a big enough fantasy author that I probably should have before all of this even happened but now I'm not sure if I ever will I've got two more authors to talk to you about today the first being Patrick Rothfuss um we own The So Regard of Silent Things and we've got the oh god what's the first one called it's not The Wise Man's Fear it is The Name of the Wind. We've got The Name of the Wind upstairs, we've got this one here, and we haven't read either of them. And this is teeny tiny. This would be a good one to read before the end of the year, because I'm still desperately trying to get to 120 books by the end of the year. So, like, if we read this one by the end of the year, then that would be a good time. So maybe by the time the year ends, we'll have actually read Patrick Rothfuss and we'll have already ticked him off from this video. And the last author I'd like to talk about today is probably the most controversial on this whole list. Brando Sando. Mama is yet to read a Brando Sando book and I don't know what I'm thinking. I own most of them. I've got the Skyward trilogy on my Kindle. I've got Elantris. I've got the Saw My Archives. I've got the Mistborn series. I just haven't picked any of them up yet, probably, similar to George R. R. Martin because they're very chunky and because they're very hyped and I don't want to hate these beautiful books because then I'll have to unhaul them and I quite like them just being beautiful and on my shelf. And that is a list of 10 fantasy authors that I haven't read yet. As I said with the classic authors video, if there are any of these that you would recommend, if there's anywhere that you would suggest I start, please let me know down in the comments because it would be good to get cracking on some of these. If you like this video, please give it a like and if you like to subscribe, we would be super duper grateful. We're nearly on 600 subscribers, so that would be really, really cool if we could hit that by the end of the year. So tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbours, tell your dogs and get us some more subscribers, please. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow with another Bookmas video because we're going until the end of the month and we're nearly there. Bye!